Welcome back for another Let's Get Graphic. Um, I've got quite the stack to share with you guys. So, um, lately I've been reading a lot of, you know, graphic novels I had to renew. So they're from older, you know, Let's Get Graphic, TBR lists. So, I got quite the stack, and a lot of them are DC comics. So, not too many Marvel this time. Like I said, I've been trying to read more DC books, but, uh, the first one we have is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel. I've already read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and I may or may not do a review of this, because, I mean, I really did not think that the first novel to that series was that great. I mean, I gave it three stars on Goodreads. So I don't know how much more interesting the graphic novel is going to be. But just for you you guys who've never seen it before, there's like the inside. It's kind of some it's like colored in but with like weird colors. And it almost the drawings seem to be kind of manga ish. So really don't know what to think of this one. Let me know if you want if you definitely want to see a review of this, then I will do it. I'll make a review, but I really don't know. I mean, cuz like I said, I thought that the first book was kind of average. If you've noticed, um I have been reading a lot of Batman um lately. This is Batman No Man's Land Volume 4. I only read these out of order because <laughs> of the way they were due at the library and when you don't have renewals on a book you kind of have to read it and then return it so I ended up reading the last book of this series which was volume 5 first but this is a very good series um, I found it very interesting what has happened as Gotham City had a really bad earthquake and every most of the people that could got out of the city, the city was evacuated, but some people chose to stay behind because they didn't want to abandon their homes, and or some people, you know, wanted to stay there. Arkham Asylum, all the prisoners got released, so, like, there's all these villains in Gotham City, and they all want a piece of the pie, which is Gotham City. And... In the beginning of this storyline, Batman has disappeared. Nobody knows where he is, but he makes a comeback and decides to fight for his city when he can. He has the money and power to just leave it, but he chooses to fight for his home. So I thought it was a really interesting storyline, and like I said, this is volume four, so and it should be good. And this one is the thickest one out of all of them. So if you're interested in reading Batman and you want to read this storyline, don't let the the thickness of this one intimidate you because they're not all like this. It was just this one that was extremely thick. Next up we have Fairest in All the Land by Bill Willingham. Um, I've talked about fables so many times on my channel. I really, really like the Emperor's storyline that kind of gave the background to why they had spilled out into our world. But, um, I know that they have a lot of shitty, like, spin-offs, too. So that's why for the longest time I hesitated reading this one. But, um, I heard a couple other people, like, say that they picked this up and they liked it. They thought it was good. This one focuses on the princesses, so... I hope it's good, and I hope it's worth my time. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Next up, we have Fairest Wide Awake. There's some of the inside. Some more Batman, Batman and Robin, Batman versus Robin. And this is with the Batman that, uh... This is Bruce Wayne's son, if you did not know that. But there is a new Robin, and he is Damien from Talia Rasgul. I'm not sure how, or is it Raish? I've heard it pronounced in the cartoons as Raish Osgul. But, yeah, 
And he makes a really interesting Robin because he's been trained by, like, these ninjas, so he's, like, an assassin. But he's trying to learn morality from his father, the Batman. So that's why I think that he makes an interesting combo with Batman and Robin. And, he, of course, he's in this one, too, Batman and Robin, Batman Reborn. This one's a Batman and Robin, Born to Kill. This is a New 52 title. Um, you've heard me talk about the New 52s. I've loved absolutely almost all of them so far. Uh, like, there has been a few that I didn't like. Like, I did not like Checkmate. Checkmate was kind of like a, a shield, like DC's version of shield. I, I just didn't care for that one. Um, Batman Beyond, this was originally a animated series, but they decided to make comic books of it. And here is Hush Beyond. Um, the Hush storyline was rather good. It was a complex kind of thriller story. And I'm curious to see how they're going to work that into this future. Batman, 10,000 Clowns, Batman Beyond, I should say, and there's the inside and the back. I have to admit, I never really watched Batman Beyond. I think I was um, a teenager, or what I consider, I know, I hate that they call books that are meant for 13 and up young adult, because when I think of young adult, I think of a young adult as someone being 18 to early, you know, mid-20s, and when Batman Beyond was out, I think I was a young adult, so I don't think I watched it. We have Captain Marvel in Pursuit of Flight. This is the new Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, I guess she's, I haven't really read too much about this character, um, last I knew because I read a lot of X-Men, she was in a coma because Rogue like had taken her powers. And then we have another superior Spider-Man, a troubled mind. Um, I've talked about Spear Spider-Man before, that he's really Otto Octavius, who is Doc Ock, inhabiting the body of Peter Parker, and Peter Parker's kind of like the subconscious, he doesn't have control of his body anymore. So, that, but that is my latest Let's Get Graphic. Um, questions, comments, as always, if you've read any of these books, would you like to see me review Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel? Yeah, so basically that's it. And thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, later.